Excuses for why people can't change. People often struggle to shift their behavior, habits, or mindset. Common excuses hinder progress and self-improvement. Here are a few. It's too hard. Many feel that it requires too much effort. I don't have the time. Life can be hectic, leaving no room for personal development. I'm afraid of failure. Fear of failure can stop progress, threatening self-esteem and security. It runs in my family. People might think certain traits or conditions are hereditary and can't be overcome. I'm too old, young. Age can be an obstacle, leading some to believe it's too late, early. Despite these excuses, change is possible. Willingness, support, and encouragement can help you reach your goals. Start by setting small targets, trying mindfulness, or seeking advice. Determination and conviction are essential for success. Age doesn't dictate your ability to change, don't let it hold you back. Excuse number one. I'm too old, young. Aspects of age as an excuse for inaction. It's common for individuals of all ages to use age as an excuse for not taking action. While some might say they're too young and inexperienced, others might consider themselves too old and lack the energy or motivation to try something new. However, age should not be an excuse for not pursuing one's dreams or goals. As individuals age, they gain insight and experience that they can utilize to tackle new challenges. Moreover, age is just one aspect of an individual's identity and should not serve as a barrier to success. Instead of focusing on age, one should concentrate on developing the skills, knowledge, and qualities required for their goals. Historically, many people have achieved great success despite their age. For example, Colonel Sanders invented his popular fried chicken recipe at the age of 65, while Julia Child, the well-known cookbook author and TV personality, published her first cookbook when she was 49 years old. These individuals' success stories serve as a reminder that age is just a number, and that it's never too late, or too early, to pursue one's passion. It's never too late to change your life, unless you're a potted plant. Examples of individuals who made significant changes at various ages. Age should not be an obstacle to reaching our goals. People of all ages have achieved amazing feats. Malala Yousafzai advocated for girls' education while still young, and Anne Frank documented her life during World War II. Harlan Sanders started KFC at 65, and Julia Child published her cookbook in her late 40s. Colonel Sanders was broke and jobless when he founded KFC, but he kept going. Vera Wong changed careers in her early 40s, despite criticism. We mustn't let age limit us from going after our dreams. We can still learn new skills and talents, no matter our age. If you feel held back, remember every day counts and every moment matters. You're never too old to learn, but you might be too old to remember what you learned. The impact of ageism on our beliefs about change. We humans link our age to our aptitude for change. This false view is ageism, affecting our thoughts about transformation. In truth, age is just a number and should not stop us from discovering different aspects of life. Ageism makes us think we are too young or old for change, blocking opportunities and views. It maintains old stereotypes and stops us from taking the risks for success and progress. We must get rid of this noxious mentality and take an optimistic stance that appreciates difference and integration. To fight these convictions, we must understand each person's individual voyage towards personal development. Concentrating on self-improvement instead of social assumptions can help change our perspective towards encouraging change regardless of age. By redefining, too old, or too young, to develop, we open up a lot of possibilities and improve our quality of life. I once met an elderly man who decided to go after his dream of acting after retirement at 75. He surpassed his thinking of being too aged to begin something new and ended up being in films and plays that made him most elated showing us all that it's never too late to make a change if we have the courage to try. Excuse number two. I don't have enough time, money, energy. When faced with the challenge of change, many people use the excuse of not having enough time, money or energy. This common excuse can prevent individuals from reaching their goals, but it is possible to overcome it. By prioritizing their time and resources, individuals can make small changes in their daily routines that can lead to significant improvements over time. To start, individuals can create a schedule and prioritize tasks based on their importance. This can help them manage their time more efficiently and ensure that they are focusing on the most crucial activities. Additionally, reducing unnecessary expenses can free up more money for activities that are essential to one's goals. Finally, 
Prioritizing self-care and finding ways to increase one's energy, such as exercise or mediation, can also make a significant impact on overall well-being. In addition to these common tips, individuals can also explore alternative options for time, money and energy management such as outsourcing tasks or investing in time-saving tools. By taking an innovative approach, individuals can find unique solutions that work for their specific needs. Pro Tip Remember, making changes doesn't have to be a complete overhaul of your current routine. Small, consistent steps can lead to significant improvements over time. Stay persistent and committed, and you will see the results you desire. Time management may not change your life, but it will give you plenty of time to make excuses for not changing. The role of prioritization and time management in making changes. Prioritizing and managing time well are key for making changes. Find out what's important, save time and use resources efficiently. Time management involves making a plan of tasks, setting deadlines and reducing distractions. This helps people use their time well and reach goals. Plus, prioritization helps people look at the bigger picture. To do this, figure out which activities have the most impact on the objectives and prioritize them. This may mean leaving out unimportant tasks or getting help with them. One cool thing about prioritizing is it helps people take action and not just react. By taking control of their schedule and using time wisely, one can avoid busy work. Pro tip. Check what's important often and adjust as needed to deal with changes or new options. Don't be wasteful, break bad habits instead. Tips for making changes on a budget or with limited energy. Making changes tough, on a budget, low on energy? Don't worry, here are some tips. Prioritize goals. Focus on the most important changes. Consider DIY or borrowing stuff from family or friends. Don't be scared to ask for help. Seek community resources. Changes can be hard with money, energy issues. But you can still reach your goals without compromising on quality. Avoid expensive pros, fancy tools or materials. Just focus on key areas and get creative. Check out online tutorials and videos. Try upcycling items you own. Save money. Build skills over time. It's doable, you just need the right mindset and approach. Accomplish goals without breaking the bank or getting drained. Easy. Excuse number three. I've tried before and failed. People often give up trying to change because of past failures. But the truth is that failure is a natural part of growth and learning. Rather than seeing it as a setback, use it as an opportunity to learn and try a different approach. By embracing failure, it can motivate you to push harder towards your goals. It's important to understand that success rarely comes easily and requires hard work, persistence, and patience. People who achieve success are the ones who didn't give up after their initial failures. Rather than focus on the result, focus on the journey and the process of learning and growing. Remember, failure is not permanent and it doesn't define you. It's simply a stepping stone towards success. So don't let past failures hold you back from trying again. Use them as motivation to keep going and try a different approach. Don't miss out on the opportunity to achieve your goals because of past failures. Take action today and keep pushing forward towards your dreams. You never know what success may be waiting for you on the other side. Success is not about avoiding failures, it's about learning from them and persisting until you reach your goals. The importance of persistence and learning from past failures. Persistence and learning from past failures are essential for success. Don't let unsuccessful attempts get you down. Instead of giving up, keep trying with determination and make changes based on prior mistakes. Mistakes can provide important information on what to do in the future. When you learn from your failures, you are more likely to succeed. Remember, success doesn't come overnight. It takes hard work and dedication to reach greatness. Even successful people fail sometimes, but they understand that these missteps help them grow. A Harvard Business Review study suggests that most entrepreneurs fail before succeeding in their business ventures. The key is to learn from past failures and stay persistent in pursuing your goals despite initial setbacks. Don't stick to a fixed mindset, grow like a chia pet. How to develop a growth mindset and overcome limiting self-beliefs. Want success? Then developing a mindset of growth and shedding your limiting beliefs is key. Here are four steps to better your outlook and belief system. Acknowledge your limiting beliefs. Pinpoint which ones are holding you back and accept responsibility for them. Challenge your limiting beliefs. Analyze each one and question its validity. 
Replace limiting beliefs. Trade old thoughts for positive affirmations based on what you want to achieve. Take action. Reinforce your new positive beliefs by taking steps towards your goals. Growth is a process that takes time and consistency. Plus, get help from coaches or mentors to accelerate progress towards success. Research shows practicing these steps can help foster skills and develop a growth mindset within individuals' psychiatric times. So, why be afraid of change? Embrace it it's the only constant besides taxes and internet outages during crucial binge-watching moments. Excuse number 4. I'm afraid of change, making mistakes. Change and making mistakes can be frightening, however, it is vital to overcome these fears to achieve personal growth and success. People who fear change may miss out on opportunities and may never experience the benefits of a new experience. Research has demonstrated that people who are open to new experiences are happier and healthier. Therefore, it is essential to embrace change as it is a critical component of growth and development. To conquer the fear of change, individuals must understand that making mistakes is part of the process. It is essential to recognize that errors are an integral part of personal and professional development. Without mistakes, people may miss out on discovering their full potential and never improve their performance. As a result, people must learn from their mistakes to become better, faster, and stronger. It is crucial to realize that everyone makes mistakes, and it is part of being human. Instead of shying away from potential mistakes, embrace them and use them as a tool for personal and professional development. By doing so, it is possible to improve skills and become better at what you do. Pro tip. Fear and hesitation will hold you back, but facing the fear of change and making mistakes will help you grow and achieve success. Embrace change and mistakes as a necessary part of your personal and professional growth journey. Change is scary because it's like jumping off a cliff, but sometimes the scariest part is realizing that you're the one who built the cliff in the first place. The psychology behind fear of change and making mistakes. Individuals with fear of change and making mistakes may suffer from anxiety and lack of control. This phenomenon can be ingrained, causing dissonance when faced with new experiences or challenges. Fear of failure and loss of comfort zones can be overwhelming. So, change-fearing people become overly cautious when making decisions, stopping them from growing and developing. The fear of mistakes can lead to self-criticism and avoiding behavior. To handle this, it's important to understand that everybody makes mistakes and experiences change. Reaching out to others and recognizing your unique strengths can help reduce anxieties about change or mistakes. Plus, taking uncertainty as an opportunity for learning can help you grow, both mentally and professionally. Don't forget. Sometimes, you have to break comfort zones to make an omelet. Strategies for overcoming fear and taking action towards change. Want to overcome fear and make changes? Start by making a plan. Break it down into small steps and build up your confidence. Habits and routines can help, and so can reaching out for support. Visualize the outcome to prepare for changes, and don't be afraid of failure, learn from it. Experiment to find the right pathway to success, and always remember to approve of yourself. Live your best life without worrying about others' approval. Excuse number 5. Other people won't approve, support me. It is common for people to feel insecure about changing something in their lives if they think others won't approve or support them. This excuse can hold individuals back, preventing them from taking important risks and achieving their goals. It is vital to recognize that everyone has their own dreams and it's not everyone's responsibility to help you pursue them. When seeking approval or support, it is important to consider people who will be impacted by the changes and to communicate the reasons for your decisions with them. It is necessary to find supportive individuals who will encourage and uplift you, rather than discourage or discourage you. Unique details about this excuse include the fact that often individuals will not pursue their dreams due to fear of not meeting societal expectations, which leads to a feeling of discomfort or insecurity. However, it's crucial to remember that one's happiness and satisfaction with life is what truly matters and that conforming to societal standards won't necessarily bring inner peace. One true history of this excuse is that of Amelia Earhart, who was the first woman to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean. Despite facing criticism and discouragement from others, she remained committed to her passion for aviation and eventually achieved her dream. This history serves as a reminder to individuals that staying true to one's passions and beliefs is crucial for achieving success. The impact of external validation on our ability to make changes. External validation can have a big effect on our power to make changes. 
It's natural to want approval and support from those around us, particularly when making big decisions or taking risks. When we rely too much on other people's opinions and approval though, it can stop us from progressing and limit possibilities. Giving away our control to choose for ourselves can lead to worries and fear of failure, which stops us from doing the things we need to reach our aims. Seeking validation outside of ourselves also means giving up authenticity and individuality, and following societal standards instead of our own paths. It's vital to have belief in ourselves and trust our instincts when making changes in our lives. Support from others can be useful, but should not be the deciding factor in whether we chase our dreams. Remember, seeking validation won't guarantee success nor bring lasting contentment. Pro Tip When feeling unsure about external approval or support, ask yourself if you would still go after your goal without it. If the answer is yes, let go of the need for validation, and have faith in yourself to make the right choices. Tips for finding support and building a strong internal sense of self. Building a strong sense of self and seeking help from others can be hard. Here are a few tips to help you find the support you need and increase your self-confidence. Connect with people like you. Find people with similar interests or who have gone through the same things. It's easier to build meaningful relationships this way. Get professional help. Talk to a therapist or coach. They can offer personalized guidance and help you learn skills. A professional can also give a different perspective on your situation and help you understand your thoughts, feelings and actions. Join support groups. Being in a group of people who know what you're going through can give you the emotional support you need. Look for groups related to your interests or specific issues, either online or in person. Practice self-care. Doing something for yourself every day can help build your self-esteem. Get enough sleep, eat healthy foods, exercise regularly, meditate or practice mindfulness. Remember, everyone has problems when they try to do something. You don't have to do it alone. Finding people who believe in your goal will make it easier to reach it. Asking for help and connecting with others takes courage, so don't let fear stop you from living authentically. Change is normal, so take it on like you would a free sample table at Costco. Conclusion. Embracing the potential for change and growth in our lives. Our lives are brimming with potential for development and metamorphosis. However, many end up caught in a cycle of opposition and justifications. Acknowledging the capacity for change and welcoming it, we can break away from self-constraining convictions and accomplish our longings. It requires a readiness to step outside comfort zones, confront fears, and take action towards individual transformation. Nurturing a development attitude permits us to see challenges as open doors as opposed to hindrances, prompting satisfaction and achievement. In today's dynamic world, where change is unavoidable, receptiveness and adaptability are key characteristics that set effective people apart. Resisting change or being hesitant of new encounters can impede advancement and constrain potential. Acknowledging that development is in continuous excursion is essential in unlocking interminable open doors for individual improvement. It takes boldness to embrace change and let go of old propensities, yet confronting our feelings of dread can prompt groundbreaking changes. At the point when we move our point of view from restricting convictions to plausibility reasoning, entryways start to open up for us. Taking little steps towards progress every day adds up after some time into huge life changes. According to an article, the main study in life is change. Acknowledging this reality permits us to adjust and flourish in the midst of uncertainty. By grasping the potential for development and energetically pursuing it, we set ourselves up for achievement and satisfaction in each part of life. Thanks for watching. Please, subscribe to our channel and press the good button.